Okay, uh, you came in today and you saw that there was a sub, and you're like, woohoo, Mr. Fisher's out. Well, I'm kind of still here in spirit. I'm with you. I did not want to uh, give up a day of support because you're learning um, some critical things with uh, matrices. And uh, if you've been to your Math 3 class already, you've seen this thing on determinants and inverses. If you have not, uh, you'll just be a step ahead. So you've got a learning card in front of you. If you don't, uh, pause this video and uh, get that learning card out to them. But uh, let's take a quick look. Uh, we're going to do these things called determinants. We're going to calculate a determinant and an inverse. And I'll try to show you a little bit of uh, why we'd want to do this, along with how to do it. And uh, you've got a worksheet afterwards that you can practice on. And it's good stuff. And eventually we're going to apply this and really see where it's used. But just kind of talking about uh, why would we want to do this. Well, here's a real simple um, equation. And we all know what to do here. We would divide by 3, divide by 3, and x equals 6, okay? Oops. And then, uh, but let's switch over to this one. This one's a little more complicated. It's 1 third times x, and a lot of us would say, well, let's divide by 1 third just like we did there, and that's true. Um, but there's another alternative to dividing by 1 third because a lot of people don't know, well, 10 divided by 1 third doesn't make sense to them. So what we do here is we multiply this 1 third by its reciprocal, or it's uh, inverse, and uh, we just flip it over. And when we do that, you'll see that, uh, well, 3 times 1 is 3, and 1 times 3 is 3, so 3 over 3 is 1. So it effectively cancels out or reduces to 1, okay? So that reduces. But, of course, we have to multiply the other side by 3 over 1 as well, and 3 over 1 can just be expressed as 3, so 10 times 3 is 30, and that's actually the answer in this, okay? So multiplying by a reciprocal is the same thing as dividing, all right? So let's take a look at this uh, weird, strange-looking matrix uh, operation that in just a few short days, we're going to have to figure out how to do this. Um, this matrix, this first matrix times matrix A equals 10 over, you know, well, this other matrix, okay? So we've got to figure out how to get uh, the answer to A here. Well, A is a matrix. It's a capital letter and uh, it's a matrix so it's a little tricky to do this well we have not learned how to divide i mean we would divide by this matrix is kind of the algebraic way of handling this but the problem is that there's some um, there's no method at least that i know of or that's explained or that anybody's figured out of how to divide by another matrix so what we're going to do is we're going to instead of dividing by that matrix well we're going to do what, just what we did up here in this other example with the uh, with the multiplying by its reciprocal, so we're going to multiply this side by its um, by its reciprocal. So it's kind of like one over that matrix, but there's some detail there. And then we're going to have to multiply this side by that inverse. Okay, so that's why we're going to learn how to create inverses, and a determinant is just a step in learning how to do that. So there's the why. All right, let's go figure it out. Um, so starting with a uh, two by two matrix and these uh, figuring out the, these directions that we're learning is really specifically for a two by two matrix and we're going to do a lot of work with that. Um, but the bottom line is it has to be a square matrix and we've talked about what a square matrix is. The rate, um, the rows and columns are exactly the same. So um, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take the product of AD and we're going to subtract the product of B, C. All right, I'm going to start with these, uh, matri this matrix that has all letters in it, and then we'll move to a numeric one. But it's really, really simple, actually. You're just taking the product of AD and subtracting the product of BC. So it's kind of a little bit of a cross there, and we're going to do a little subtraction with those products. All right, so AD minus BC, very simple operation. Then we're going to take the inverse of the determinant, which really just means to flip it over. Okay, so we're taking the inverse of it flipping it over, and we're going to multiply using scalar multiplication. See, all these terms are building. You guys have learned this. Using scalar multiplication, we're going to multiply that inverse of the determinant um, times a modified 2 by 2 matrix. In other words, this original matrix gets modified here. And we'll study the letters and see what happens to them. Well, uh, to modify, we're simpl simply going to switch A and D. And then we're going to see where A and D switched. Okay, there's where A and D switched. And then we're also going to switch the signs of B and C, the other ones. And you can see here where the signs of B and C 
Yeah, it changed. They were, you know, whatever they were over here. Now we're just going to take the opposite of that. Okay, and that's our modified version. So we're going to use scalar multiplication with this um, inverse of the determinant that we came up with times this modified 2 by 2 box. And it looks very complicated over here because we've got it all put together. But watch with the numbers. You don't need to know all that. Um, I just kind of want to give you a visual of what it looks like. All right. Oops, I missed a blank here. This is your determinant. All right, over here. So this is your determinant. Sorry for the bad handwriting. Determinant. Ooh, some terrible handwriting. Sorry. All right, I'm working on this uh, pad here. It didn't work so great. All right, so let's try it with some real numbers now. I'm going to start with a 2 by 2 matrix. Uh, the, what I'm showing you today only works with a 2 by 2 matrix. We're going to do A times D minus B, oops, B times C. All right, so A times D negative 7 times 4 minus negative 8 times 3. All right, negative 7 times 4 is negative 28, and I've got minus, oops, negative 24. All right, we all kind of know what to do here. We've got two negatives in a row, or subtracting a negative is the same thing as adding a positive. So negative 28 plus 24 is negative 4. All right, so our determinant is negative 4. Now, how are we going to use that? Well, we're going to take the inverse of that, the flipped over version of it, so 1 over negative 4, and we're going to use scalar multiplication. Let me fix that. All right. Scalar multiplication, we're going to take that inverse of the determinant, and we're going to multiply it by a modified version of our original 2 by 2 matrix. So here comes the modified version, and all I said was switch A and D, so we're switching the negative 7 and the positive 4, so this now becomes 4, and this becomes negative 7. On the other side, we are changing the signs, not switching the places, but changing the sign of B and C. So this becomes a negative 3, and this becomes a positive 8. Now we're ready for our scalar multiplication, and this, if you remember, scalar multiplication was really not that complicated. Negative 1 fourth times 4 is negative 1. Negative 1 fourth times negative 3 is 3 fourths, those were two negatives being multiplied. Negative 1 fourth times 8 is negative 2. Of course, you can use your calculator with these fractions if you get confused. Negative 4, I'm sorry, 1 over 4 times negative 7 is a positive 7 fourths. This is my inverse. Not so bad, okay? And we're going to get to really use these inverses in the upcoming days when we're starting to solve equations with matrices in them, all right? Have fun, do your worksheet, um, Substitute has a key, and I will see you tomorrow.